Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the first ever Ben Mo Repo, starring your host, the one, the only, Ben Mo. Thank you, thank you. Shalom, shalom, bienvenue, and welcome. I'm your host, Ben Moskowitz, AKA The Ben Mo, and this is the first ever Ben Mo Repo. Thank you, thank you. Ben, Ben, uh, Ben, Ben, Ben. Sorry, I got, I got to stop you, buddy. Um, we've, uh, got, we've, got, we've got a call. Uh, I didn't know this was a call-in show. It's, it's not. But <laughs> this guy's like bugging me. Oh, okay, just play him through. Yeah, I, you know, I'm like, kind of busy here. So okay, I'll, no, I'll take it. Just, 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 just roll right, with it. We're right, running out of time. Send it your way. Buddy. Okay, send it in my way. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, first time caller, long time viewer. Uh, first time this is... The first episode, how huh? long time I, we, we just started. It's not even on the internet yet. Oh, well, I've just been watching everything here at the Brooklyn Brewer lately. Oh, are you in the audience? Oh, no, no, don't you worry about that. Uh, wh where are you then? I've been stuck in the air ducts for a couple weeks. What, 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 why? Well, if anyone asks, I definitely didn't sneak in to get high on beer fumes. Uh, okay. So, what are you calling about? Hey, uh, what is this thing you've got me, uh, uh, forced to watch now? Well, this is, uh, the Ben Moe Po. It's, it's an internet web variety show with comedy and music and a bunch of fun stuff for everybody to enjoy. I don't see a lot of variety. <laughs> well, you know, we've only been on for, like, I know, two minutes now, so can you just give us a few seconds? Oh, some more white guys can come out? Well... Um, well, hey, I mean, I'm trying to do something a little different here. Oh, yeah. I guess it's cool you escape whatever foreign country you're from. I'm not foreign. I'm from the South. <laughs> oh, what part? Florida. Oh, God, that's worse than New Jersey. <laughs> oh, come on. Florida being from Florida is not that bad. Oh, sure. Name one important person from Florida who doesn't suck. Sure, there is... There is, um, oh, the guy who invented air conditioning. He's from Florida. Oh, whoop de doo He made it easier to live in Florida <laughs> and get trapped in fuck comedy shows. Look, we all like air conditioning. We all need it. It's, he was a great man and provided something great for all humanity. Oh, then what was his name? Uh, uh Mr. Freeze. <laughs> That's a Batman villain. You're a Batman villain. Oh, uh, you're one of them bath salt freaks, ain't you? What? What? No, no, all Floridians use bath salts. Oh, okay. Well, then what's the difference between a Floridian and a zombie? I, I don't know what. Nothing. They both think your show sucks. <laughs> okay, guys, let's just cut this guy off. Cut oh, him good off. Good luck, you Jewish B. Arthur. What? <laughs> Wait, wasn't B. Arthur Jewish? I don't know. Anyway, people, thank you for coming to the Ben Romney Paul. We have a great show lined up for you today. We have Joe Firestone. We have Bodega Bay. But first up, we have Straight from Canada, Canada's own Bettina May. Looks like we're going to prom. I know. Where's my corset? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, for people who don't know, this is Bettina May, uh, one of the greatest people I know. And uh, I mean, you got your green card, and you have, I think you have a very interesting story about how you got your green card. Do you want to tell everybody that? I would love to tell people. Um, so I'm Canadian citizen, and still still I'm a Canadian citizen, and uh, I'm a burlesque performer, and I wanted to come to New York City and live out my dreams of being a showgirl, just like everyone else. And um, so I had to get my green card to do that, um, but because there's no, like, you know, <laughs> place that is the place that hires burlesque performers full time, um, I had to sponsor myself <laughs> as um, an alien of extraordinary ability. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, alien of extraordinary ability. <laughs> An EA. That's right. 
I think it's an E12. E12. Exactly <laughs> what it says on my green card. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, no, you do more than just you. You also teach classes. That's right. I teach women um, and men who want to be women how to do um, vintage hair and makeup and how to pose in front of the camera and I do like makeovers and it, it usually just turns into a big slumber party of fun. <laughs> well, it sounds like the kind of slumber party I want to go to. Yeah, yeah. well, you're, but you're not invited. Oh. <laughs> so uh, do you have anything upcoming up? Any like places people can see you outside of the Ben Moe pub? Yeah, um, I do burlesque all around the city all the time. That's my full-time job and I'm going to be at Nurse Betty on Wednesday. Um, it's a free mm. show, burlesque, the Lower East Side, 9.30 p.m. <laughs> okay, and, and you like have any tours planned or anything like that? Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm starting a Canadian tour. I mm. leave on Friday, and I'm going to be uh, in my hometown of Victoria, B.C., and then Vancouver and Seattle, and I'll be there for three weeks performing and teaching classes. Well, I'm sure everybody on the internet can come check out, and you guys can go too if you guys can come to Canada. <laughs> yes. All right, well, we would like to do a little performance for us? I would love to. Okay, well, we are, um, ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes, we'll have a few minutes. Hey everybody, we're here today to do the six beers and six minute challenge. I am the Bemo. These are glasses. They will be filled with beer. I don't really know if this is a challenge that's established or whatnot, but we're just going to do it anyway. All right, Daniel, if you can please be our timer. That's a pretty good deal. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, Bettina May. Thank you. 
of Canada's greatest exports. Hey! Yo! Um, what are you just saying? I, I was just saying that Bettina May is one of Canada's greatest exports. All right, see, that's where we have a problem right now. Um, How do you going to call her Canada's greatest export when I'm here? Uh, excuse me, so who, who are you? Where am I? Yeah. Where am I? I'm Ken Canada. I'm Canada's greatest export. Hey, shh, I'm talking people, please, thank you. I, I, I'm sorry, sir. I was just, it was just a hyperbolic compliment. I mean, I, I didn't mean any offense by it. Well, you it's offended just, me. I, I'm sorry. Greatly. I, look, look, we can just, why don't we just start on over, me and you can be friends. Can we be friends? Friends? Friends. Yeah, friends. We can shake on it. How about shake? that? Shake? Yeah. Like friends do. Shake his hand. Yeah! yeah. 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 I'm down. Sit with down. The people demand I shake your hand. Shake your hand. And friendship between America and Canada. Oh, okay. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You people did this to him. Remember that. You people, each and every single one of you did this to him. I don't, I don't blame you. <laughs> Who's Canada's greatest export? Can Canada. Louder. Can Canada. You, in the black, with the beer in your hand. Did you hear him? I think he did. You heard him? <laughs> Can Canada! Okay, okay, okay. Bye. You people want to see more. Queens and Elks Lodge, September 13, FTW. You see Ken Canada there. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Canada, everybody. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> Next up, we have Joe Firestone. Joe! Um, all right, so, uh, so uh, my name is Joe. It's nice to be here. Um, I want to let you guys know that I am uh, feeling hot. Okay, I'm feeling hot. Okay, it's like I got I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of um, heat on me. Is that does that make sense as an industry term? Is everyone here in the industry? No. Well, I'm gonna teach you something. When you're hot, you know it. Okay, so now here's the thing. Okay, so I got a lot of people chasing after me because I got a hit game show. Okay, you wanna know? Can you tell? I'm glowing. Okay, so let me tell you. Okay, so here you go. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's called I Have Been There. It's cool, okay? And it hits on the number one, the number one hot topic today. What is it? What's the number one hot topic today? Come on, what's it? what is going through everybody's minds? G-Train. Not the G-Train. <laughs> the G-Train. Yeah, it's a game show about the G-Train, and it's a universal <laughs> appeal. All right, now, anyone else have a better suggestion than the G-Train? Fresh air. Skittles? Who the fuck said Skittles? No, it's not, I'm sorry if I said fuck, but someone said Skittles. Okay, now here I go, okay. I'll tell you what it is. Say it with me, humility. Okay, so now it's all about humility. It's a very exciting game show. Now, I'm just gonna, we've been doing a lot of test runs of the show. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda go through what it's like with you guys so you can kind of experience it and then I'll just take notes in my brain on how it went report back to the execs and what you know it'll it's a, it's a process anyways okay so it's called I have been there and what's what's gonna happen is I'm gonna tell you things that have happened in my life that have truly embarrassed me in some way or another okay and if you have also experienced it you say I have been there! And you gotta say it that way because the audience craves consistency. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna, so does everyone understand? Now listen, the person with the most I have been there's wins, and uh, well, in the game show, in the actual game show, it's like $10,000, like trip to whatever. You get a, I got a dollar, okay, for this practice run. Okay, so now, you understand? Now I'm not gonna count for you. I'm not gonna count for you because that's not my job. I want you to count. In your heart. Okay, now I'll tell you. You understand? Use your own 
own little tickers, okay? You ready? Is everyone ready to play I Have Been There? So here's what happens. Okay, so it starts off, just to give you a picture of how it's really going to go, the whole uh, sound stage is covered in fog, okay? And then what happens is I, there's like, it's like you see a kind of a figure moving through the fog, and you kind of start to realize that the whole stage is made of water. And then I come out on this kind of gondola rowed by a, like a man, and then... I get out on this tiny little ledge and I'm like, hello, welcome to I Have Been There. And then the fog clears. It's like a complicated thing, but it's like the fog clears and then it's like white light. Okay, so then here's how it goes. Are you ready? You ready to play? Okay, here we go. These are cards. These are, these are actual cards from the game show. Okay, you ready? Okay, you, you know what to do? If you have been there, you say, Okay, you ready? The first one. You're always falling down. You found a booger on your neck. Sometimes you think someone's giving you a dirty look, but they're not. They're just looking back at you the way you're looking at them. Why are you looking at them that way? Oh, yeah, because you hate them. You toot toot in tight public spaces, tiny restaurants, elevators. Okay, does everyone know what toot toot means? Tell your neighbor if they don't know, it's, it's good so you know that vocabulary. All right, here we go. You're always afraid of dying, mostly because what if they find blank in your bedroom? You make sad main dishes like pizza potato and tuna can pescetti. You talk to dogs like they're babies, you talk to babies like they're dogs. You've said, man, was I thirsty, out loud after drinking a glass of water alone. Okay, so then we go into the second round and it's crazy because the whole stage turns into this like island theme thing and it's like, it's like real sunlight. I don't know how they do it. All right, here we go. You've tried on so many clothes, but none of them fit because they all kind of look like your body. The way you eat Oreos is disgusting. You go to Trader Joe's to buy something like yogurt, and you leave Trader Joe's with something called chocolate pasta and no yogurt. You threw up or pooped anywhere outside of your private home. You have a friend named Emily, and she's nicer than you, and that's why you hate her? <laughs> Emily would never hate her. Okay, who's winning? Who, how many? Who's in the lead? One, one in the lead? Two? Three? It takes a lot of vulnerability to win this game, okay? Here we go. All right. You thought, this one's kind of a tiebreaker. You thought you were called to be queen of the squirrels because they kept looking at you directly in the eye and they don't do that to everyone. <laughs> no one? I have been there. All right. You asked a friend for a bite of something. You don't know what PR is, but you do know that you like Claire Danes because she seems smart. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's the final round. So here's what happens. You know that ride at Disneyland? We all sink like 13 floors. It's really cool. All right, and then what happens, just to give you a brief outline, uh, like a bunch of women come on and they're all in swimsuits and they, they just keep their, raising their arms like this. All right, okay, okay, keep going. Final round, okay, final round. Okay, you diddle, but you thought about someone real nasty. <laughs> She's been there. She's been there. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yikes. Who is it gonna, who was it? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, uh, boy, you know what firemen look like in real life? Okay, you're, all right. Okay, you order something, they give you the wrong thing, and you say, nothing, coward. Okay, and every time you get out of the subway, you touch your eyes, and then you think, why'd I do that? Okay, who won? Who's in the, who's in the lead? Who's in the lead? Oh, no, no, listen, close your eyes.
eyes, close your eyes. It takes a lot of vulnerability. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. And the person that thinks they won, I want you to, to, to put your little paw on your heart. <laughs> Just put your paw on your heart if you think you won this game. It takes a lot of vulnerability, okay? Five, four, put your paw on your heart. Three, two, one. Oh, yes, Cows to the Shrieker, come on up. You won. You won. I have been there. Oh, boy, congratulations. That's wonderful. I've only had three people my whole life. Congratulations. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin, wonderful. Who'd you diddle about? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh, oh, sure. There is always a weird moment when you think, why am I doing this? Because sexuality is, say it with me, wrong. Okay, all right. Thank you, Kaylin, so much. Thank you. Oh, boy. Thank you so much, guys. Look forward to it. It's coming to, to True TV in 2025. Okay, thanks so much. I'm Joe Fireson. Joe Firestone, everybody. Come have a seat in the, the chairs. All right. Ow! All right, so Joe. Yes. I've known you for about two years now. I Ooh. think I met you at a, some strange person's apartment. Um, was it in an apartment? It was somebody's apartment. It was somebody, Tim, somebody named Tim. Oh, is that Tim's apartment? It was Tim's apartment we met. You guys at. know Tim, yeah? Yeah, you all know Tim. Tim's a good guy. I thought we met at Housing Works Bookstore Cafe. We did. We, we did actually meet at Housing Works Bookstore Cafe, but I was too shy to talk to you. No. Yeah. I'm a shy guy. Nah. Uh. Well, no, but the, you, you are like a superstar. You like you, you host Pundidome 3000. Sure. You host the Inner Beauty Pageant. Sure, Bullshit yeah. Bullshit History. Yeah, well, yeah. Bullshit you know, we, we, History. You used to do uh, the bingo, the um, not your, you know, bingo. Uh, I mean, you hosted, in fact, maybe we should switch positions. No, maybe. no. Really? I mean, how do you come up with all these ideas, these crazy shows that you come up with? Uh, I come up with ideas for shows because I think of, like, I like to do a lot of game shows, and so I come up with ideas of things that, like, I can do mm -hmm. or things that my friends can do mm -hmm. really well, and then I think, how do you make that into a uh, thing that people pay money for? <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> And then sometimes they go and sometimes they don't. I once did a show and I thought it was going to be a huge hit and it really, it was a huge, it, a lot of them failed. I know, I was at, I was, we, the show that we did, you asked me to do one time. Oh, that was a big fail. Yeah, that was a big yeah. fail, yeah. Thanks for bringing that no, up. No, no problem. <laughs> it's, uh, I was part of it, so, you know, yeah, it's, it's well, mutual self-destruction. Sure. I don't know about that. Oh, it's okay. I met your brother there. You did? No, you, you, oh, you didn't meet my brother Is your there. brother here? My brother's not here. He's going to come. My brother is Louis Moskowitz, or Lumo. Lumo! <laughs> Lumo! No, but Lumo. He is going to be famous, guys. Way more famous than any of you. So... That's he, a nice thing to tell people. I would tell people that. I think my, my brother is Lumo. going to be more successful as well. Yeah. No, my brother just had a baby. Oh, cool. Uh, which is cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was so, Caitlin. Caitlin clapped Caitlin, uh, for me. Yeah, Thank I, you. Would, I clap for your baby and brother's baby. Yeah. Is, it a, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. And uh, what is the new uh, baby's name? Uh, Sam. We call him Sammy the Bull because he knows how to use his neck. <laughs> uh, really, don't bulls use their head? Uh, sure. Yeah, well, I mean, if you, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Hey, I am not one for you to decide nicknames. I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want. Well, I, you know, I didn't make up the name. I just followed through. No, <laughs> fall, fall through is the most important thing. Yeah. So, um, I really want to know what you, you know, you just, your mind is so vast and no, you come at you oh I no you so. you have this quick wit that i've never seen like no, you, know, you boom I, boom boom i spent a lot of today picking up pieces of hair from a carpet oh <laughs> can, can you elaborate why i tried using a vacuum and i couldn't figure out the vacuum and then i used my fingers and then i just that there went the afternoon all right well you know <laughs> that is the amazing daytime life of joe Firestone, everybody <laughs> Woo! So, Joe, yeah. where are you going to be performing next? 
Where am I going to be performing? I, I got a show at, at midnight at the UCB. Okay. And it's where we try out like game shows, okay. all kinds of game shows. It's, we got one called Whittle Baby. Oh. Where uh, people get to whittle babies out of foam. Uh, if you guys want to whittle really? babies out of foam, UCB at midnight. What what day of the week? Friday, the August 1st. Friday, August 1st, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. So, Joe Firestone, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, that was definitely that was fun. So next up we have Bodega Bay when we come back. Wasn't it um Cool Hand Luke? They had the egg eating challenge. Right? Was it egg eating? It was egg eating, right? You eat the eggs. And what was his lesson that he learned from that? I mean, are you supposed to pace yourself or not? You supposed to do it all at once? Or just go? Ooh. Why are we doing this again? There's an episode of The Prisoner. And um, he's drinking a, a pint. And it says in the bottom of the pint that you've been poisoned. And so what he does is he drinks a lot more pints so he throws out the poison. Oh. Can't bomb it on the street, Ben. Keep it together, Bimo. Keep it together. What? The six beers in six minutes is not even a real challenge. I don't... <laughs> All right, let's just... Go for the gut, though. Please be done. <laughs> I, I failed the six minutes in this challenge. I'm gonna go bomb it. Welcome back. I'm here on Bodega Bay. We have Ben and Joe and Josh and Brendan and Nikki and uh, Alex. it's Alex. <laughs> so, <hi> Alex. <laughs> Alex is the new guy. Yeah. So this is Bodega Bay. You guys have a very interesting name. Uh, what? Where does this come from? You guys from Bodega, California? No. Good question, Ben. We're actually from New York, mm -hmm. and the name is a reference to the location where Hitchcock's masterpiece, The Birds, from 63 is set. Um, you know, we're a, we're a cinema-loving uh, outfit, so. I do notice that you have a lot of cinema-themed songs. I mean, you have a particular, you know, cinematic artist that you prefer to pull from. Mm -hmm. A particular cinematic artist? Yeah, I mean, auteurs, the, the, you know. Um, you know, all of them, I don't know. I mean, Hitchcock's a major one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, recently, my brother just told me his uh, his girlfriend didn't like Hitchcock, and I told him to punch her in the face. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, did she? No violence she... to women. We do not promote that. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Hitchcock the early years, the English years, Hitchcock the American years? Thirties Hitchcock, the 30s. actually. How do you not like thirties Hitchcock? I'm a diehard thirties Hitchcock that's guy. That's the best. That's the best Hitchcock. I think Thirty Nine Steps. It, it's like um, a... Secret Agent, Lady Vanishes. Mm -hmm. That's the vintage. That's the that's the that's the prime year. That, because there's something really special about and seeing an artist learning what is eventually going to be their signature, mm. and uh, you know making this mistakes and making it. There's a certain vitality to that, and that's that's why 30s Hitchcock is the best well, for me. I I totally agree. So when you're making songs, because again your songs are very cinematic theme, do you think of the artist, the song you want to reference for? So you write a song and then you put your cinematic theme into it. Well, they happen at the same time, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 th I think that it's, it's you, you, one can't divorce 
oneself from cinematic influences, mm -hmm. given that we're, we're assaulted with images from day to day, constantly. And you know, I think it's appropriate time for my favorite quote that you listen with your eyes and you see with your ears. Oh, and that is attributed to me. I oh, say that every oh, day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, my favorite Ben Hosey quote. Yeah. That's <laughs> the, best, the best Ben of Hosey. Okay. <laughs> so um, I hear you guys are recording a uh, new uh, recording uh, album, EP. Single. Yeah, we're gonna have a double album out in the fall. Wow. It's uh. Um, it's gonna be called "Listen with Your Eyes." Oh, is it? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an exclusive. We got the name. So you guys, uh, <laughs> wait, can you guys play us a song? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. So when we come back, we'll have a song with Bodega Bay. Yeah. Our brand. 